very expensive problem could be hiding under your basement floor. It can end up affecting the resale of your house, and more importantly, your health and the environment. If the metal line that transfers heating oil from your tank to your furnace is unprotected, it will eventually corrode and leak into the ground below. An inexpensive upgrade of your oil line now will save you thousands of dollars in possible cleanup costs later. Many people throughout Connecticut heat with oil without ever having a problem. Others who have had a leak or spill could have prevented it by following a yearly checklist and working with a licensed service technician. The Department of Energy and Environmental Protection receives hundreds of calls reporting heating oil leaks every year. Some leaks are visible, while others are underground and can go undetected for years. It can be very costly because it can get into your wells, storm drains, and water bodies in the surrounding areas. Uh, we had an oil leak about a year ago. I think the latest estimate is up to about $300,000 to clean up our situation, which was a uh, leak in the oil line that ran underneath the concrete slab in our basement floor. We weren't even aware of the problem until we smelled some fumes coming out of the sump pump pit. We also noticed we were losing quite a bit of oil at a rapid pace. So we brought some investigators to figure out what was going on, and sure enough, we have uh, money pit. <laughs> so very often um, we come to sites where the largest investment that somebody has had for their entire life has an underground spill underneath the concrete floor of their basement potentially threatening the groundwater supply in that area. They have a very large expensive long-term cleanup. It's been an ongoing situation for yeah. a year now. The stress of having to coordinate with homeowners insurance trying to figure out what the remediation steps will be how it's going to impact our family with young children, how we're going to be able to live in the structure, keep the oil fumes at bay until we figure it out. I mean, it's been really, it's been a huge it's really in your face every day. Not all spills are as severe as the one in this video. We find the best method is for spill prevention. DEEP encourages you to maintain your heating oil system, including your oil line and your oil tank. At the beginning of uh, each heating season, uh, the homeowner should have their uh, service technician uh, come in, do service on our furnace boiler, and at the same time that technician should do an inspection of the oil line. And like this one is sleeved in a plastic uh, conduit, which is acceptable, you know, it provides that protection. And just to do a visual inspection of the tank, check for any potential leaks or if there's any uh, issues with the legs starting to fail, and make sure the gauge is working doesn't take a long time, uh, but it should be done on an annual basis. Your licensed service technician can help you identify whether you need to upgrade your tank, oil line, piping, or fittings. Indoor tanks rust from the inside out and typically do not last more than 30 years. So as a homeowner, I guess the takeaway in all this is have your system inspected. If you have a line that's running under the concrete slab, absolutely pay the 300 or $350 to fix that, to get it above grade so that at least you can see the oil if there's some kind of problem. And check your homeowner's insurance policies. Liquid pollutants typically are not covered. And uh, do the right thing, get your system checked. It's gonna save you a lot of money in the long run. And I think it's important to say too, you need to really enlist the help of your oil service provider. Get the equipment looked over, make sure you get new products, new line, new tanks if you need them. The cost will definitely make it worth it. To learn more, visit the Connecticut Department of Energy and Environmental Protection's Home Heating Oil Tanks webpage.